titling. Now there's a big subject. It could mean anything from simple on-screen text to the crazy elaborate stuff you see at the end of Marvel movies or the start of a David Fincher film. Today I'm going to take a look at what you can do in HitFilm. At its most basic, HitFilm's text tool lets you write in some text. To do this, you first create a composite shot. So here I have my work in progress edit. And let's say I want a simple title on this shot, perhaps to establish the location. In my media panel, I'll go to new composite shot. And once that's opened, I'll grab the text tool and draw a little box for where I want my text to go. I'll type in my text and I can then select it and make any adjustments I want in the text panel to get it to look how I want. If I switch back to my main edit, I can simply add that title from the media panel onto wherever I want it. I can use it multiple times if I want. So that's all well and good, but what if I want to do something slightly more interesting? Let's take a look at creating a lower thirds title. I'll switch back over to this title I made earlier. This is in a separate composite shot, as you can see. And in this one, I've moved the text down and added a solid plane behind it, which I've also shifted down to the bottom. And I've also added a photo of my face onto the corner over here. Onto the plane, I've then put a mixture of effects, starting out with a simple gradient going from black to white, and then a fractal noise effect set to overlay blend. Heat distortion on top of that then makes the fractal pattern look more like a drifting cloud. That creates this rippling pattern. And finally, a luminance key removes the brighter parts of the layer, revealing whatever is behind it. I can then animate the whole thing to slide in from the left, bringing all the parented layers with it. Back on my main editing timeline, I can now add that lower third, and it looks pretty good. It's also super easy to go back in and edit the text and the image to somebody else if I need to. Now the thing is I'm not a motion graphics designer, so I'm sure you can come up with something far prettier than what I've done here. So how about end credits? That's when you're likely to have a really long text document or spreadsheet full of the names of your cast and crew, and formatting all of that into an animated text scroll could be pretty tedious. That is, unless you start to use the imaginatively named end credits crawl effect. In here, you can very easily paste in your text, roles and names into separate columns, and then break it up into multiple sections. The font and the general look can be controlled, and the effect itself will take care of ensuring that your credits look professional. It can really save you a massive amount of time. So talking of end credits, what about those fancy pants Marvel sequences? Well, if you've got HitFilm 4 Pro, you can do a surprising amount of stuff without even leaving the software. In this example, I've got my camera orbiting around a simple 3D model of the Iron Man helmet, with some text positioned in 3D space behind it. Note how the text has extrusion added to it, which is what's giving it a bit of depth. That's just a simple extrusion effect that I slapped on. I've then got a still image as my wraparound background. Throw in some lighting and grading, and you end up with something that looks pretty damn good. That 3D model is free to download from tf3dm.com. I'll put the link down in the description. Finally, Pro users also get Boris FX's 3D Objects plugin. This offers an alternative to HitFilm's built-in text. Let's take a look at this recreation I made of the Universal logo. I did this just to see if it was possible, really. This kind of text is ideal for Boris, as it gives you extensive control over extrusion, bevels, front, back, and side materials, and even lets you warp and twist the text into interesting shapes in 3D. Okay, my name's Simon Jones. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of thing and would like to see more of it. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed that HitFilm tutorial. As you can see, this week we are in LA and we thought we'd take some time out from our busy schedule to let you know about our 4th of July HitFilm sale. There's 15% off everything store-wide from the 30th of June to the 4th of July. We'll see you next week.